Welcome back, my little Jilp and Jelk Rimrims, to Rimrim World, our first 1.3 ideology run to the Arco Nexus, featuring everybody's favorite, Jilp himself. Uh, first and foremost, a big thank you to you all for the feedback on yesterday's episode. It seems like you guys are enjoying the maybe slightly more muted Rimworld 1.3 experience. As much as I love to do the Not like this. <laughs> Not like this, Ice Wolf. Oh, sweet Jesus. Why did it turn hostile? I've never seen that before. Dr. Lumpy, don't die on me. Jilp. Do we, do we leave? Do we walk away? 36%. 45% on Ice Wolf. Stand your ground. Oh my god. I am never going to hear the end of this. <laughs> so, um, for those of you new to the channel, we've had a recurring colonist called Ice Wolf. And Ice Wolf tends to die within genuinely two episodes of being called Ice Wolf. Why the hell did it go feral? Oh, this is unbelievable. Just suddenly Ice Wolf is hunting Dr. Lumpy for food. Is there no food it could have... Why did it not just go out and eat these bodies? I don't... There's a body right there. And it's frozen too. I don't know why it didn't just eat... The, the, the literal fresh corpse outside. Oh my god, Dr. Lumpy, you've seen better days. By which I mean, I don't think you're going to be seeing many more. Oh my god. <laughs> Jorah's been shattered. Her right arm has been ripped off and her right leg has been ripped off. But she still has a drill arm. So we've got that going for her. Uh, how fast do you think you can self-10 there, Lumpy? Unbelievable. You know what? I'm thinking let's just turn that into medical. Let's get Lumpy resting. Let's get Jilp in there tending to her. Without medicine, because to be honest, I don't think we're going to have time to turn around and pick up the medicine at this rate. Please lie down. Right, jump that side. Okay, Lumpy. We are going to min you back to life, my friend. On the plus side, with all of those bits now gone, maybe we could rename her. Dr. Smooth. <laughs> okay, so she's actually fine. And there's no chance of infection because um, they were bitten off entirely. Unreal. Unreal. So sorry. Anyway, to go back to my previous point, thank you all for your support on yesterday's episode. It seems like people are pretty much up for the idea of going for something a bit more simple with ideology. I saw a couple of comments, people disappointed that we weren't doing anything as crazy as we did with the Ohm series. To be honest, as much as I would love to immediately jump in with a crazy mod pack, a lot of the mods just simply aren't updated for version 1.3 of the game quite yet. But I thought this series would be a nice palette cleanser. You can't always do better than the previous series. Right? We can't always go crazier and crazier, otherwise it just makes it... I don't know, I think it makes those crazy things less impactful when they actually happen. Not to mention the Ohm series was a complete accident from the get-go. But there was some pretty great feedback about the actual balancing. In particular, I asked about Igor and Vader, and it seems like a lot of people, I think the fifth most upvoted comment at the time of recording, was saying, disable Igor and Vader. And look, I don't want to entirely disable Igor. I quite like Igor. The big problem with Igor, though, although it's a fine storyteller for difficulty, is that the constant raids really do slow down any of the gameplay at all. So let me show you my fairly inadvisable compromise. Welcome to the hot seat mod. For those of you who don't know what the hot seat mod is, it essentially will switch between whatever storytellers you enable, depending on the percentage chance you set for it. These are all of the default settings. We've got 85% chance per year that the storyteller will change, 25% chance per quadrum, and 10% chance per event. And that will swap between any of the following four Storytellers. Now, I thought it'd be quite interesting if we disabled all the base game storytellers because we kind of did that last series. Instead, our lineup this time is Empress Evil, Perry Persistent, Igor Invader, and Diego Dyer. Empress Evil is based around insects, unsurprisingly. Perry Persistent is a very consistent and, funnily enough, persistent storyteller, but not necessarily just with raids. Igor is very persistent with raids. Those raids also do double damage and have a chance of bringing in reinforcements if you start to lose. 
Diego is somewhat similar to Igor in that it's very raid heavy, but you'll get less of the minor events like diseases and things like that. The other big discussion was about letting you guys vote on the ideology when we get far enough through the Arco Nexus quest. Oh, good. Muscle parasites. Yeah, no, that's, uh, that's great. Thank you. And the one person who didn't get afflicted with muscle parasites is the one person who is almost entirely useless at this stage. Anyway, my point was going to be when we get far enough through the Arco Nexus quest that we have to abandon our base the first time, second time, third time, whatever, we have to vote on the ideology. We will decide how we want to do it then. I'm still happy to live it up for a vote. A few people were worried that it would just be a meme fest, but I think I trust you guys enough to know when shit would just be a horrible experience. Sort of. Either way, we've got a long way to go before we have to worry about the Arco Nexus, especially given that right now, one of our people has muscle parasites. One of our people barely is a person anymore. And our poor sweet dog is dead. Oh, no. I was going to give Dr. Smooth and Chill Pex the same bed just temporarily. Turns out that's very much illegal in her ideology. Well, she can lie on the floor next to the slab bed. There you go, Dr. Smooth. And I mean, look, that is a perfectly good giant Fenrir. I'm sorry, Ice Wolf, but winter is just around the corner. You know, I think I've already had enough of man hunting animals for one episode. It's it's two cats. Okay, well, that's not really as bad as I thought. Oh, God, Jill, please kill them. We still have the foggy sandstorm, don't forget. So accuracy, nice. What a shot. Accuracy is a little reduced. Jilp. Jilp, please kill the cat. Jilp. He's going to get his eyes scratched out. Oh, what a kick. Wowee. Oh, my God. He picked it up and pulled its tail off? What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Those are the cold, hard eyes of a killer right there. What a guy. Anyway, I'm trying to get this prison built pretty fast so that we can kick Eagle out and give Dr. Smooth her bedroom back. Eagle? Eagle. Please. This is too much. It's one man. I genuinely thought that said enemy millennial. Victor. Victor Grump. Hello? neo -gayatrism. Oh, that's a word I've just said out loud. That's a word I've just said out loud. Jilp! Now is not the time for sleep. Uh, actually, maybe it is, because apparently he's preparing for a while. Okay. Go and, go and sleep then. That's fine. Oh, the weather controller is gone. Hey, that's great. Okay, okay, okay. Right, now you can line up. No, Jilp. Stop being a moron. Okay, I'm gonna draft him and undraft him again, just so he doesn't drop down mid-combat. The second we get those... He can see us from there? What the fuck? The second we get these barricades built, the better. How can he see us, but we can't see him? Be Start blasting. Um. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Start blasting. Jilp. Come on. Come on. This is horrible. We could combat command. I don't think we need it yet. I don't need it. Oh, God. Dr. Smooth, get out there. Get out there. Ah! Okay, get behind that rock. This is nail biting. Bear in mind, we are playing on Eagle. And I was about to say that means all damage is doubled, so one shot could kill us. And it was one shot that did it. Dr. Smooth. Why is there still combat music, though? Hello? Oh, no, that's it. Are we... We all good? I don't think it's ever taken long in Remold to build a shed with a bed in it. Thank you, Eagle. Goodbye. I wonder how much resistance they've got remaining. Let's take a quick peek. Prisoner. We are down to 20.2. Get the resistance down, then we'll focus on the conversion. It's going to be a long, long time before we will get Eagle to join us. That's uh, that's definitely winter kicking in, eh? We'll get the final little bit of this rice. I don't think it'll be enough to get us quite through the whole winter. And we can fish, of course. I've got a fishing zone set up here. The problem with fishing is the Cabo Dynasty. Hello. I was going to say it's not the fastest way to get food, but here we are. Norval, hello. Igniting wooden wall. I really would appreciate it if you didn't, though. You could just go through the kill box like a normal person. Brilliant. What a... <laughs> what an incredible effort there. <laughs> oh, hang on. They must have heard me. They're going to light fire to the kill box and then walk through that very same kill box. It's a, it's a great technique. Goodbye, Norval. It was nice knowing you, my friend. God, I hope that fire doesn't spread very... Oh. hope that fire doesn't spread very far. Uh, Sanguine is nice. Dunce really isn't. Not to mention the fact that they don't have any skills whatsoever. I'm going to take your clothes, if that's okay. Smooth on the apparel. Jilp, please put out the fire, because everything's made of wood right now. Whoa, what is that? <gasps> King's robes? King Jilp. 
Oh my god, he looks incredible. We have some overalls as well. Those give a plant work speed from what I recall. It might have been changed. No, plant harvest yield and work speed. And given that Smooth is now missing an arm, I think I'll swap her apron out for those instead. Oh, and we've got a pretty sizable cloth harvest at this point. We'll throw down a basic plain old nothing because we haven't got any wood. All right. Oh, good. Yeah, no, that's fine. A little bit of food poisoning thrown into the mix too. No, that's, that's quite all right. Let's go for the denture and we can't do anything about the leg because we haven't got any wood. I hate you. I hate you. Let me guess. Oh, food poisoning and muscle parasites. That's a good combo. Quest available. The ancient skull of Jilp. We have learned that a relic of the Jilp ascendance is nearby. The skull of Jilp is an ancient object venerated by all Jilpists. Not Jelkis. That's a different thing entirely. Obviously, we have to accept. There's no choice. This is a shit show. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody is down. Food poisoned. We, we, we are going to be food poisoned to death. Normally, food poisoning wouldn't be quite such an issue. Normally, a giant Fenrir named Ice Wolf wouldn't turn rabbit and pull your arms and legs off. And Jilp got a nice healthy dose of muscle parasites, so here we are, I suppose. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not sure why I like this game. It's got to be the storytelling I tell myself. The fun adventures we go on. How's that fun adventure going, Dr. Smooth? You having a good time down there? Don't worry, though. It's not all bad. Jilp safely got Dr. Smooth back to bed before promptly collapsing in the doorway. Igor. Igor, please be kind. <laughs> oh, yes. Dr. Smooth has gotten food poisoning from a simple meal. At this point, I have to do it. Fueled stove. Get it done. If we get any more food poisoning at this stage, I will cry. Cook, simple meal, times four. It's very simple, Jilp. Just don't kill anyone. Oh, God. Okay, well, look, they're both up. There's a chance. I'm also going to be as bold as to set a defensive position. I mean, chances are we're probably not going to survive long enough to need it. This will be it. This will be the time she cures his muscle parasites. Ah, quality zero, you say. Brilliant. The one time I set defensive positions is the one time they're not. They're not actually going through the kill box. That is uh, very high tier. Well, if the hypothermia doesn't get him, the bullets almost certainly will. Please kill him. Please watch the dining room table. Oh, God. Okay. That was a little... That was a little dangerous. I love how it's safer to eat the raw rice than Jilp's cooking. But given that we haven't got a huge amount to do right now because of the whole winter thing, probably wouldn't be a terrible idea to build a dedicated stone stockpile. How many limestone blocks? We've got 71. Oh, well, this is going to be a fucking laugh. Okay, Jilp, no pressure, but we're going to go for a full-on operation here. Oh, I hate it. Oh, God, please be fine. What the fuck did you just do? <laughs> Jilp! What have you done to Dr. Smooth? What is wrong with this man? Oh my god. Because Jilp is recreation starved, i.e. bored, he is not going to finish his life-saving medical treatment on Dr. Smooth. Ah, oh, good, that visiting tribe left us some gloves. Those will come in handy when I slap the shit out of Jilp. She's dead. She's she's gone. Accept it. Dahlia is dead. Ice Wolf is dead. Long live the king. I failed you, Dr. Smooth. I failed you. Oh, my God. And in an act of utter psychosis, he's decided to sleep next to her corpse. You still love me, don't you, Dr. Smooth? We will be the best of friends. I hate this game and I hate everyone in it. Failure of flesh expected for Dr. Smooth? There's only one fucking person who failed here. <sighs> Dig the grave then. Oh, battle animal. Please. Replacement? Oh my god, it's a bunch of boom rats. Nah, you're okay. <laughs> Boomalopes? Yes. Wait, hang on. Hold on. Think of the usefulness here. They're basically just walking grenades. Look, you don't even need to build a pen for them. That means we can quite literally just march them at the enemy. Welcome aboard, little boom rats. Welcome aboard. Well, I suppose on the plus side, now we can bring Eagle back into the original room. Oh my god, the farm is overrun. Look at these frigging rodents. Oh no. <laughs> Come to Jilp Zoo. King of the rats. That guinea pig is making a beeline for it as well. I knew you would be. Jilp the rodent king. Wowee. Is a raccoon a rodent? I don't think it is. 
I mean, rabbits definitely aren't rodents. Foxes, I'd also be willing to put some money on. They're not rodents either. Jump, though. Jump's a rodent. He's a big fucking rat. Oh, thank God. Igor is dead. The question is, who have we got now? It is... Oh, Diego. Diego believes the best stories are the violent ones. Diego might, but Sam very much disagrees. No more violence. This is a colony of peace. Right, time's up. Piss off the lot of you. Go find a different farm to fanny around on. Yeah, you better fucking run. Oh my god, look at them go. <laughs> I was very careful not to shoot the dryads. Don't worry. Come along, eagle. Come and meet Dr. Smooth. He didn't even put her on the other side of the bed. Oh my god, he's more upset about Ice Wolf dying than he is Dr. Smooth. Dr. Smooth, I'd like to point out, Jill basically killed. Come on, Dr. Smooth. Let's get you away from all of these rats. And I suppose we'll have a failure of flesh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is going to be complete dog shit. Oh, wow. Now, Jump can say a really terrible... He put that meal down for a second. Did you see that? You're fucking dead. You know, I get the strangest feeling this is probably not going to end well, but... Oh, wow. Good work. Everyone participating gets minus one for six days. Good. That'll teach that rat a lesson. <laughs> you know, right? I'm not sure you cared about Dr. Smooth at all. I think you were just there for the free buffet. And now he's having a tantrum. On the plus side, we don't have to worry about raids or anything because we've only got... We've only got one colonist again. He's having a tantrum because he's exhausted. Not because his friend died. Although his base is absolutely overrun with rats. Oh, that was fast. Goodbye, Diego. I thought he'd gone straight back to Igor. We've got Perry persistent. Okay, you know what? Right now... Well, now that I think about it, Perry could be worse. Any raids that we get aren't going to hit very hard at all, and Igor wouldn't do anything right now because we've only got one colonist. But Perry could just throw out a bunch of diseases. Or a raid. <laughs> it's only 36 raid points, though. This is getting a little bit sweaty, Ramon, I will admit, but to try and save a little bit of time, we're going to go out and fight them on this side so they don't have to run through the bloody kill box. How are you not within range? Oh, they're slightly too short. Kill him, Jilp. Kill him, Jilp. Destroy Dan. Oh, this is a problem. Kill? You are a shit. You are a shit idiot. Please. I hate it. Jelp. Jelp. Oh, shit. Don't, 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 don't. He's going to get kidnapped. He's about to get kidnapped. Oh. <laughs> Subjects from Deluia have decided to kidnap who they can and leave. Man in black, any time now. Any time now. Whenever, you, whenever you're ready. Is he going to play that out? A condition intending. Uh, goodbye, Jill. Oh, you are joking. I, I'm in awe. Wow. Wow. God, I hate this game, but we can probably catch up pretty fast. Just give me a minute to get everything set back up. You're probably thinking, wow, this base is already way nicer than the last one. And you would be right, but what comes next might shock you. Oh, fuck. Anyway, we've immediately caught up. Sure, we haven't got the farms yet or a kill box, but we're pretty much there. So this random map this time was another temperate for us to slightly better growing time this time around. And we've got pretty dense mountains to it. This bit of generation though here I thought was pretty cool. A giant valley with a pond in the middle for fishing. And overall, this should be a much nicer time. Except for the fact it immediately shuffled to Empress friggin' Evil. And the other thing was our biome forecast. So after 45 to 75 days, assuming I'm capable of playing the game for that long, the map will flip over to Boreal Forest. Which isn't really that different to what we've got going on right now. It would just be slightly colder, I assume. Well, actually, I bet the temperature itself probably doesn't change just the biome, right? I'll be honest. I've absolutely no idea. Let's take a look at the planet then. So the seed for this one is Iqua. And we are right here. Under, under ocean. So I guess above the ocean. This planet has gigantic faction clusters going for it. But almost none of them spawned in near us. Genuinely, we've got almost this entire side of the planet to ourselves. Let's hope we don't have to do any caravanning anytime soon. Oh, but look what's nearby. Hey, we've got a mechanoid intrusion. 
which sounds terrible on the surface, but trust me when I say it's actually insanely good for getting steel. Let's travel through two blocks of forest and a block of swamp, which isn't perfect, but that is pretty high tier. Oh, it's the rifles again? Well, I mean, I did start working on a very avant-garde kill box, but oh, at this point, it probably doesn't matter. Oh, and apparel. Maybe you get jump a pair of underwear. Or a police cap and gloves and nothing else. That is a hell of a visual image. Faction name this time around is YMCA. Hello, it's Poopy, everyone. Poopy, uh, why do they call you that? Also, Poopy, incidentally, what is that on your face? Okay, what have we got as a weapon? Well, we've got a giant Fenrir, but that worked out pretty fucking terribly last time. Okay, we've got some wood equipped and ready to go. It's always good to have some wood ready in case of a Poopy emergency. Wow, that is terrible. That's the worst thing I've ever seen. I'm gonna bait her indoors. And we're going to stand right next to this giant, vicious dog. And this giant, vicious dog is going to rip her legs off. Yes. Hit the dog. Hit the dog. Hit the dog. Hit the dog. You are a... You're a shit, Ice Wolf. Fight back! I've never seen such bullshit before. Jilp, if you die immediately to this, I will scream. She does have a blunter weapon. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yes. Good hits. Good hits. Good hits. Ice Wolf! Ice Wolf! I will kill him again. <laughs> I'll kill him myself. Poopy, are you any good? Holy shit! Poopy! Probably shouldn't shout holy shit when I'm talking about... <laughs> you know, I don't need to finish that thought. Given that we're on the side of the planet by ourselves, how friggin' far did she walk? Armed only with a club, some joints, and some beer. Well then, Poopy, welcome to the team. And that was me thinking this episode couldn't get any more shit. Now, Jupiter's is naturally going to be very upset that he had to club Poopy with some wood there. Uh, wielding weapon label. There we are. Uses despised weapon because wood counts as... It counts as primitive? My question is, does beer? You'd assume not, right? Are you alright with that? Use despised weapon. Other than that, he's fine. This is very high tier. Oh my god, there's a hailstorm. Okay, so Jupiter now can't go outside. That's, um... <laughs> oh, well, that's not really ideal. The problem right now is we don't have any food. And last time I checked, food is outside. I guess we'll go and get some danger raspberries. Oh, my God. Is that all we've got? Wow, that's not very good. You are joking. <laughs> I quit. I... Yeah. Yeah, you don't say. The flash storm is over. <laughs> wow. I am seeing a slight problem developing here. Uh, Jill, no pressure, big man. Have you ever wondered what the term optimism meant? Here's a nice visual representation of that. 50% of firefighting is using your brain. Get rid of that wall. Get rid of this one and this one. Let that motherfucker burn. I'm d a drought. How is there a... A drought? Oh, wow. <laughs> uh, right, here's the plan. Fuck off. Oh, for God's sake. Ice Wolf, what have you done? God, I'd really love for there to be some rain right now. That would be really handy. Poopy has life-threatening malnutrition. Uh, we can't grow crops because of the whole drought thing. So I guess we'll um frantically try and catch a fish. Bloody hell, please be fast. That'll do, that'll do, that'll do. No, 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 Fo feed, feed Poopy. Poopy, I got some fresh fish. You're good. Oh no, she's really, really not good. Ice Wolf, I, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Holy shit, yeah, no, we've got a, we've got a, we've got a slight problem on our hands here. Very minor, oh my God, a very minor concern. So it's our choice. Right now we can either have our people starve to death on account of us not being able to grow food and not be able to catch food fast enough, or the house burns down. Yeah, who could have predicted that would have happened? It's getting, uh, it's getting a little toast in the living room there. 100 and, 160C. Uh, right, okay, here's the plan. Let's take the wall off of here. Beat the shit out of Poopy. Not too much. And then we brave the flaming wreckage of our previous house for Poopy to then die of malnutrition. You know, I'm, I'm really, really starting to regret this series. I think I 
Oh, I think I hate this. You remember when royalty first came out? And to flex, I just decided, hey, let's play Merciless, and we, we beat the game. Oh, Merciless. Yeah, I remember. These days we play on rough and I can't even build a freaking house, apparently. Roof collapse, yeah. Yeah, you, you really don't say, huh? Just breathe it all in. Just breathe it all in. I'm saying the absurdity of it, not necessarily the smoke. Oh, I wonder why Jilpa's collapsed. Is it because of malnutrition? Oh, what a shocker. You... You moron. You absolute... Fool. You ever been so hungry you decide to go and bottle a raptor? Yeah, no, me neither. <laughs> I love that he took a break from starving to death to get up and go club some wildlife. That is... That is so high here. I hate you. I hate everything about you. Perhaps someone else will find a use for the ruins of this place. Perhaps. Perhaps? There's a fucking drought and everything burnt down. Perhaps, Rimworld. Perhaps you can fuck off. Ah. <sighs> You know what? Maybe the commenters were right yesterday. Maybe I should have done something ridiculous and over the top instead of a down-to-earth regular plain old series. The truth of the matter is I'm just not an epic gamer anymore. Maybe I am just bad at games. I'm old. I'm washed up. A little bit, a little bit on the sleep-deprived side. I do have a, do have a bit of a headache coming on. I mean, it is pretty warm in here too. I think I've got a, I've got a bit of RSI in my wrist as well. From all the gel king, I can only assume. The point is, maybe we'll just move on. This is this is demoralized me. So tomorrow, either one of two things will happen. Number A, Jilp will return, and I will double down. I will add difficult enemies, difficult factions, and the man will suffer. But everyone else will suffer with us. Or we can sign Jilp to hell. Which is relevant to a future series that I'm partly spoiling, but I'm not going to tell you any more about. And we move on. We move on to another separate series entirely. I've learned nothing about ideology. All I've learned is that there's a reason why the three base game storytellers are designed the way they are. Let me sleep on it. And tomorrow when we return to things, I will have an answer for you. And no matter what that answer is, it'll be better than the shit that we've had today. Thanks, Poopy. Very cool. A big thank you in the meantime, of course, goes out to the patrons for allowing this really just awful episode to exist in the first place. A big thank you to Dan the Man, JT, 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 It's Steven, Cash Cow Pay Pig, Her Wolf, Nick Danger 013, Alex Monk, Gammon Jude, Ben B, Slickback, Mr. Moosh, Lord Condog, Bling Magica, Solothol, and Tom Padge for their support. The executive producer tiers over at Patreon. I'm sorry. All I can do is apologize to you because I feel like I've let everybody down. You guys most of all. Well, me most of all. Because that was <laughs> just unthinkably bad. Thank you to Apocalypse Shovel, Mantle, Prince Medixis, Infectious, KG Evans, Fatigable, Metman, Donald, Alexander, HJ1293, Blaticus, Wifty, Oz, The Wizard of, and Jexel as well.